it has just been voted. In fact, it's a, it's a, it's a set of amendments that target NGOs and also helpers who try to assist asylum seekers. Uh, the first part of the law, in fact, is a change in the asylum law. At the moment, at the border, uh, very few people are actually admitted into Hungary, into uh, these so-called transit zones, which are sort of open camps. Um, and then they can, uh, if they want, they can start to file a, a, a complaint to ask for asylum. Well, Hungary has just changed the asylum law, which means that these people, um, these people's request will be declared inadmissible because they come from Serbia and Hungary considers to be a safe country. So these um, refugees will not be able uh, to have access to a fair procedure. And the second part of the law uh, concerns NGOs, which will not uh, be um, admitted to help these migrants, these refugees, uh, because they will be helping illeg illegal migrants in a way, and they can, um, they could be sent to prison uh, up to one year imprisonment. In fact, what does the introduction of this legislation mean for the upcoming EU summit at the end of the month? That's fo going to focus largely on migration. Uh, well, it's. A bit early to say, but I think the European Commission has just announced that um, it's uh, not sure that Viktor Orban, the Hungarian Prime Minister, will actually participate to the summit. Um, the um, Viktor Orban uh, definitely um, is going against the European Union. Um, two days ago, the Venice Commission, uh, which is the sort of legal arm of the European Commission, asked Viktor Orban to suspend the vote. The Council of Europe asked him the same thing. And despite all these warnings and despite all these uh, requests from European institutions, Viktor Orban decided to go ahead and have this, uh, these laws approved. So I think the Hungarian prime minister is deliberately um, targeting the European Union as, as, as another enemy and is deliberately going into conflict with the European Union. Uh, he has done so for the past uh, four years, and in fact, he has uh, uh, he has harvested benefits from this uh, policy of conflicts and of disagreement with uh, Brussels, which enables him to say that he is defending Hungary and he's defending Hungarian national sovereignty against Brussels.